As an international transracial adoptee, I was always stuck in being different. I knew I was different when I looked into my dad's piercing green eyes, when I held my mother's fair skinned hand, when I sat around the tables at family gatherings and nobody looked like me. I had tan skin, deep brown eyes, black curly hair, and my body had a dusting of dark hair all over. I remember stealing my mom's razor as a child and shaving my entire body with the hope that I would look lighter, more like my parents. With excitement, I looked in the mirror and was deeply disappointed when I realized that nothing had changed. I still wasn't white. I looked exactly the same, just without eyebrows. Um, I was always stuck in being different. When I came to this country as an infant, my parents converted me to Judaism and raised me as a Jewish Caucasian female. Um, I never felt like I belonged. I was too Spanish to fit in with the Jewish white kids, and I wasn't quite Spanish enough to fit in with the Spanish kids who all spoke Spanish and all knew about their cultures, and I knew nothing about mine. Um, I desperately wanted to fit in with the group and not be different, um, getting me involved with drugs and alcohol and um, a group of kids that were into those things at that time in my life, it was probably the first time I felt like I belonged somewhere, like I wasn't different because addicts don't care if you're different. They just, you know, are looking to be addicts. Um, I got pregnant and became a mom for the first time at 18 years old. And I've spent a lot of my adult life um, kind of picking up the pieces and putting together all my differences and trying to get to a place where I can accept that being so different is one of my greater strengths, not necessarily a weakness. Um, it's taken a lot of time, it's taken a lot of therapy and effort, um, a lot of patience from my entire family and my friends and everybody around me. Um, but I think it's a constant battle, a constant journey, and something that I work with daily.